Hi guys and welcome to another Makeup Talks. This week I'll be talking about our favorite person in the world. Well, I'm not going to be talking about her because it's not worth saying anything about her. Just kidding. But I'll be talking about one of her products, Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm talking about the film star, Bronze and Glow. So this is the highlighter and bronzer that's super, super infamous all over the interwebs that she has. Um, you know, we recently got Charlotte Tilbury in the United States. You can buy it at some Western locations. And yeah, I just want to show you guys what it looks like. So before I put it on, I am going to tell you this is one of my favorite bronzing highlighting palettes, you know, especially because it works for multiple skin tones. Unfortunately, if you're like, like a deeper tan into a deeper skin tone, it's not going to work for you. But if you're on the lighter side, it works amazing, especially if you're like light, like Charlotte Tilbury yourself it won't look like you have crazy lines going across your face. And the reason why is because the bronzy side is actually a little bit more taupey. So unlike, you know, using a bronzer, it's not going to emphasize any redness or orange in the skin. I'm going to be applying it with my NARS Kabuki brush. It's super expensive. It's like exclusive to NARS, you know, it's handmade from like children in some country out there because they want to outsource everything so they don't have to pay anything. So I'm going to start by dipping this into the highlighter shade and I'm just going to use the side of the brush and I'm just going to press it right onto the cheekbone. So just so you know, the highlighting part of this palette is extremely pigmented. So as you can see, I already get a nice sheen going on and a little bit goes a long way. If you're going to if you want something dramatic, you know, go ahead and go to town with this. But if you don't, just dip your brush onto the highlighting shade once and literally that's enough for you, you know, get a nice highlight going. Okay, I'm also going to apply this on my nose and on the cupid's bow and a little bit on my chin. Now I'm going to apply the bronzer, and again I'm using the side of the brush. As you can see I loaded just the side, and I'm just going to start applying it right underneath the cheekbone, right below where we put the highlighter. There you go, that looks nice and sculpty. Let's do the other side. Oh, my bronze is so amazing. And I'm also going to use a bronzer. Right on my temple. And the sides of my nose. And on my jawline. Usually when I bronze a jawline, like these days I've been going a little bit above. Now I'm even like bronzing this part right here. Can you see that? Because I feel like it kind of gives you a much more slimmer effect that way instead of just falling your face naturally. Because we always think about bronzing like, you know, this way, but we forget that the face kind of juts out sideways. Like we forget that the face kind of goes this way too. So we want to be able to have a slimmy effect this way so that way it doesn't look like our face is like concentrated in one small space. You know, we definitely want to be able to bronze and kind of make everything proportionate. If you know, you, if you know what I'm saying. All right, so this is what it looks like. That was Make It Toss for this week. These are the two products I reviewed for you. They're amazing, especially this one over here though. This one is my ride or die brush. You can do so much with it. It is more of an artist type of tool, so if you're looking for everyday results, I probably wouldn't use this. Well, you can if you're like a super fanatic, but you know, it does pack on it, pack it on. It does pack it on pretty heavily. I hope you guys enjoyed the information I bestowed upon you. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram, please stop following me and see what I'm up to. I'll see you guys next week with another Makeup Talks.
know what I'm saying. 